channel. I've been to Pound Stretchers. It's a place I don't go to very often at all and I can't tell you why. I, it's not that I just don't want to go. I don't think of going in there, which is a shame because as I say, I went in there today and I picked up some really good bargains and it has made me think I need to go back there a little bit more often. So I'm just going to show you what I bought. Um, I hope the lighting's okay. It is I'll show you how dark it is at the moment. Look out there. It is really dark and so it's just artificial light, which I know isn't the best. Right, the first thing I picked up was this. It's called Red Salt. Um, and it says, on the label, it said it was South African. I don't know whether it is or not, but it says that it is. And it's a blend of savoury salt and paprika spices and herbs um, apparently it goes well with your chips wedges chicken red meats burgers salads fish etc so that's kind of everything really isn't it um, and it also says here to make a quick dip add malt vinegar and for a quick marinade add white vinegar what it looks like i've never seen it before no idea what it's like we have opened it and i've just put it on some food for our dinner tonight um so yeah I'll, I'll be trying that see what it's like this i think was maybe 149 something like that a large box there's 20 in here of the zip seal uh freezer bags i use a lot of these and these were under a pound and i generally buy them in poundland um but not quite this big but so these were under a pound they also picked up these um, this is a five pack of the Bovril Beefy Drink. Now, back in the day when I was a child, let me know in the comments below if you were exactly the same. I used to have, I used to drink Bovril a lot, especially when we went to the swimming pool. We had like, where I lived, we had an, and we had an outdoor Lido and we would just hang out there and go swimming. It was open virtually all year round. And even if it was a bit chilly, we used to go there. Um, and it was one of those things that once we got out the pool and you had the towel around you, you were shivering and shaking. Um, they had a nice little kiosk sort of over there. And I always used to have a cup of hot bovril and a packet of bovril crisps. And um, I don't know, I saw these in there and it just, it just, Put me straight back there um i have picked up the odd little jar of bovril in the past but i don't know i don't know if i get i don't know if i get the strength right or not but it just doesn't taste the same so anyway these were well under a pound i think they were 79p something like that and i know chris he was exactly the same in you know back in the day when he was a kid as well um yeah so i thought well we try them and Sometimes you just fancy a drink. You don't know what you want, but you just want that taste of something in your mouth. So I thought I'd get these. Um, the other kind of thing I picked up, now we use loads of these, and these are the Easy Seals clear plastic bags for when you open the bread to seal the bread back up. Any bags that you need to reseal, um, we use these for like the dog biscuit, all sorts of things. And these were these were reduced from two pounds to one pound. You've got 30 in there and you've got them in a nice little container, look. So inside, I have to admit, when I first saw them, I thought they were the old fashioned perm curlers, but um, you can see all the different sizes that they've got in here. They were a pound and say a handy little storage container. I picked up the, I can't remember how much, but they were under a pound, and I'm, I want to say 75p, or it could be 85p, but they're sugar-free cookies, um, so I picked up those, and these are the one with the peanuts on, and I thought they look nice, I haven't seen those anywhere before, and then I saw these ones, and these are the sugar-free chocolate chip cookies, so I thought, I have a nice little treat with those as well. Um, it's all this little tiny, it's a little Cadbury selection box in a little packet thing. Um, I, I have recently bought some of these in Poundland, but in Pound Stretchers, they were, I 
I think they were 85p. So that was a bargain. These are the microfiber tea towels, and I don't think I've ever used these before. Um, so anyway, there's a pack of four in here, £1.99 for four, and I just thought, well, they feel nice, they feel quite thick. Um, so I've got one with the green stripes, and then I've, so there's two in here with the green stripes, and then there's two with the green and the white stripes. So I thought, give that a go, £1.99. These I have opened, and had them with a cup of coffee, well I've had a couple with a cup of coffee. Um, these are the sugar free, they're the Maria biscuits, and do you know what, they took me right back as well. Again when I was a kid, we also used to have like these Maria biscuits, I don't know what brand they were, they certainly wouldn't have been sugar free back then, but they still taste the same, and they kind of remind me a little bit of an arrowroot biscuit an arrowroot biscuit that I had as a kid but anyway this is what they look like uh 400 grams in here so you've got two packets in here and these were a pound and I still think that's good they're sugar-free guys and that's what I have to have now so I treated myself to those these are for a DIY project that I'm doing for Christmas so this is the little Minions banana flavoured lip balm that was 59p. That's to go into a DIY project that I'm doing. And so are these. So I have got four lip balms. Four in here. Okay. These are this, these are mint lip balms. And guys, honestly, these are 20p each. 20p each um, and they are for a DIY and then I picked up two of these these are both the raspberry flavoured ones uh, again 20p each so I thought that was really good and last but not least I have never seen this before let me know Jesus barking could you let me know if you've seen this and if you've tried it now they had it in I think three fragrances I think it was lavender this one that I've got and grapefruit pink grapefruit now and I'm wondering if this is their equivalent to Zoflora okay it's three in one action it's called bouquet and it's the concentrated fabulosa disinfectant kills 99.9% .9 bacteria eliminates odors long-lasting freshness and it makes up to 20 liters um, and it says highly concentrated disinfectant that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, eliminates odours, leaving a fresh and long-lasting aroma in your home. Um, which, to me, sounds exactly like Zoflora. So, let's give it a little whiff. Um, before I do, that's what it looks like. So, say you've got 400 mils in here. And this was either 99p or a pound. Um, I say I've gone for the bouquet fragrance. They did have pink grapefruit. I think their mum was lavender, but I didn't. I couldn't smell it in the shop. That's the thing because it's sealed, so I couldn't give it a sniff. Otherwise, if I thought it was nice, I'd have smelled them all and got them all. Um, so I've got to try and take this off. So that's that bit off, and then it's sealed again underneath with another thingy. Oh. That, that is nice. Now I'm going to say first off, my first impression is maybe it's not quite as strong as Zoflora, but then it's a totally different fragrance. This is Bouquet, and I know they have one that's Bouquet, and I absolutely love that one. It's like just walking into an English country garden, it's beautiful. So is this one guys, I'm kind of smelling jasmine and a little bit more in here, oh this is so nice and I am definitely, next time I'm back down in town for the price and everything, I'm going to pick up the other two fragrances and I'll let you know what they're like. Um, but this, I mean, so flora, don't you find it's becoming so popular now and sometimes you can't even find the fragrances that you want and it is a lot more, a lot more expensive than this. 
and at the end of the day it does exactly the same as Zoflora and it smells beautiful. This is my new find guys and I'm just, I'm just, wow, I'm over the moon. It's the little things isn't it? Yeah, let me know if you've actually tried this before. Anyway, that's everything, guys, that I actually picked up in Pound Stretchers. As I say, it's a place that I just don't go into enough, but I'm going to. And every time I go in there, I think, why don't I come in here more often? Hmm. I don't know why, but I need to. That's the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed, just press the subscribe button. Um, press the notification bell as well, then you will know when I do all my new uploads, uh, whether I'm doing a shopping haul, whether I'm doing a review, whether I'm doing... I do all sorts of things on my channel, so hit subscribe. And um, to all my subscribers, love you all guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay fabulous.